CTW presents Sesame Street Season 16, Show 2019, produced in color at Reeves Teletape. happens. Uh, Oscar! Tell me, what's wrong? Oh, oh, oh Luis, uh, you see, Oscar's supposed to be here to help me with my number. Uh, I got this big box, and I painted fours all over it, and I put on my grouchy well, tear hat. didn't and... show up, huh? Yeah. See, I'm supposed to talk about the number four, and Oscar promised to be here with some grouchy tears to show everyone just how many four is. But where is he? Uh, I'm here. Uh, I brought the number four. I brought the box with the fours all over it. Really? Uh, uh, Oscar, you're here. Uh, but you forgot the grouch good tears. Oscar, when you promise something, you should do it, you know. They're here. They are not. Where? Listen, how do you spot a grouch good tear? They're in your trash can. Oscar, I knew you'd come through. Okay, listen, uh, Bruno and I have been going all over the neighborhood picking up the grouch tears for you. Okay, Bruno, I guess you can put us down. Thanks for the ride, Bruno. Okay, grouch tears, everybody out. Oh, 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 boy, this is the part I was waiting for. Uh, now you're going to see exactly how many four is. Yeah. Uh, see, Luis, I knew Oscar wouldn't let me down. Yeah. Oh, here they come. One grouch could be here. One. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, yes. Two grouch could be here. Two. There we go. Two grouch could be here. Three garage kateers. Look at this. Yeah. Wow. Good. Three uh, garage kateers. That's it. Uh, what do you mean that's it? No more garage kateers in here. No, 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 no. We, we need four garage kateers. Uh, you mean there's only three? Uh, we need four. Uh, we're talking about the number four. Remember? Tell oh, me. Oscar, how could you do this to You're me? You're a grouchketeer. I know, but you promised me four grouchketeers, and we only have three. Oh, You're boy, a grouchketeer. Yes, I know I'm a grouchketeer, but I counted them, Oscar. One, two, three, three grouchketeers came out of the can, and that's all we've got. Oh. You're a grouchketeer. I'm a grouchketeer? Oh, that's right. Uh, one, two, three. I'm the fourth grouch tear <laughs> Gee, gee. Uh, and, and now you know just exactly how many four is. <sighs> Oscar, hmm? why didn't you tell me before? Because I like to see you get all worried and angry and everything. <laughs>
there's the noon whistle. Mm-mm. I wonder what's for lunch. So do 80 million Americans. Don't touch that lunchbox, because Sally Smith, this is your lunch. <laughs> From Hollywood, the lunchtime capital of the world, we bring you This Is Your Lunch, the show where people who take a lunch take a chance on prizes. And here is your This Is Your Lunch host, Guy Smiley. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, Sally. Do you know how to play This Is Your Lunch? Well, I, I've seen it on television. Good. Then you know that if you can guess what's in your lunchbox, yes. you will win a big surprise. <gasps> I've never even won a little surprise before. Then let's begin. Listen carefully and see if you can guess what this is. Well, I'm crunchy and delicious and I grow on a tree till I'm red and round and ripe. Oh, and I'm a fruit. Um, red, yes? Red and round a fruit. <gasps> it's an apple! Well, <laughs> let's see if you're right. Yeah. She's right. Yes! <laughs> it is an apple! Yes, I'm an apple. And it's full with apple. natural goodies to help you stay healthy, Sally. Very good. <laughs> and now, listen to these voices from your lunchbox. Mm -hmm. I'm purple and gooey and sweet, and I rhyme with deli. And, and I stick to the roof of your mouth, and I'm made from peanuts. And we're squished together between two pieces of bread. Well, do you have any idea what that is, Sally? I think it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Is she right? Well, let's find out. Hi, Sally. <laughs> Yes, yes, it is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So far, it's a great lunch. That peanut butter will stick with you all afternoon to give you all the bricklaying energy you'll need. Well, Sally, yes. there's one more thing in that lunchbox. If you can guess what it is, the big surprise is yours, so listen carefully. Yes. I'm long and skinny and orange. I grow in the and I'm especially good for your eyes. And get this, I'm a vegetable. Take your time, Sally. Um, it's a carrot. Is it a carrot, folks? Is it a carrot? Remember, Sally, if you're right and it is indeed a carrot, you win the prize. Will you come out, please? It's a carrot! You have indeed won. And now, and now, audience, let us see what you have won. Sally, we couldn't help but notice that something was missing from your lunch. Yeah. Something you need a lot for healthy bones and teeth. Oh, milk. Well, I, I always bring a quarter for the machine. Well, Sally, you can forget the machine because from now on you're going to have milk galore because you have won your very own herd of cows. <laughs> giving satisfaction and charming companionship. That's right. Goodbye for now. But don't be surprised if someday you hear me say, this is your lunch. Wonderful. Wonderful cow. Sally Spider, and I love to skate. I use only two legs, and it's great. When I try three or four, I fall down a lot more. And I really go crazy with eight. Let's find a field 
need a man on a tractor with a plow to wake that earth up now so that we can plant our beans. Sun and rain will come in their own good time. Then the beans will sprout and grow. Don't it make you feel so good to know that here come the beans? Then the beans are picked and loaded on the truck. Sent to a string bean plant Where they really fix them up So that we can eat them beans Go into the store Pick up some of them beans Always wondered how they got there And now we really know the scene And that's the story of the beans Sh Snail Snail is a very strange creature It carries its house on its back And on fine sunny days when it goes for a walk It never has to go back S snail Hello there. Do you know what this is? This is the letter S. Now the sound you'll hear with the letter S is s. Barkley's going to help me because he knows a lot of words that start with the letter S. Don't you, Barkley? See, he's showing us one right now. Sitting. Sitting. Hear the S sound on the first of the word? Sit. Sitting, sitting. Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, he's sniffing. There's another S word, sniffing. Ah, very good, Barkley. <coughs> oh, did you <coughs> hear that? Gesundheit. Barkley sneezed. Another S word. Very good, Barkley. What's he doing now? He's sitting again. There's that S word again. Oh, he's got an itch, so he's scratching, scratching. Here is another S word. What a smart dog. I know he's going to come up with something good next because he is so smart. Of course, smart is an S word, too. So let's see what he's doing now. He's sleeping. Oh, sleeping's an S word, too. Hmm. Mm. Snore. Snore is definitely an S word. <sighs> Gee, so is the word stuck, which is what I am until Barkley wakes up. Hey, you. Huh? A, B, C, D, E. Please don't shout at me. F, G, H, I, J. Won't you please go away? K, L, M, N, O. Really, sir, I wish you'd go. P, Q, R, S, T. Why do you keep bugging me? U, V, W, X, Y. How'd you like a lemon pie? Z. <laughs> Free. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Ernie. Oh, hey there, Bert. I see you going outside, huh? Oh, yes, that's right, Bert. Yeah, you're all dressed up for the cold. Yes, indeed I am, and I'm also dressed up for something else, Bert. Oh. I'm all dressed up for a guessing game that I just made up, Bert. Oh. Would you like would you like to play a guessing game with me? No. Okay, here's how it goes, Bert. You have to guess what do I have inside my mittens, Bert? 
Inside my mittens. Inside your mittens. Mm -hmm. I don't want to play this game. Now think about it, Bert. Think about it. Think hard. What's inside my mittens? Your hands. Your hands are inside your mittens. Okay, Ernie? My, my hands. Well, let, yeah. let's just see if you're right. Ooh, look at that, Bert. You're right. It is my hands that are inside my mittens, Bert. Very good. You got the first one right, Bert. Now, second one is, what is inside my sleeve, Bert? I don't want to play this game. What's, what's inside my sleeve? Think hard, it's, Bert. It's too easy, Bernie. This, your this is arm. not an easy one, Bert. Your arm. Your my, arm. My arm. Yes. You say my arm. I say your arm. Everybody well, says the arm. Let's just look and see. Mm-hmm. You're right, Bert. It is my arm inside there. Terrific. Okay, now it gets harder, Bert. What is under my scarf? Your under neck. Under my scarf, Bert. Your neck. Your, my neck. Your neck. My Not neck, my neck, you your neck. Okay, let us just see. Mm hmm Look at that. You're right again, Bert. Oh, this is it so is indeed my easy. neck, Bert. Okay, but now here's a hard one, Bert. What? Okay, what do I have? Your ears. Hmm? Your ears are underneath your earmuffs. Under my earmuffs are my ears. Yes. Very good, Bert. You knew the answer before I even asked the question. But, Bert, here's the hardest one of all, Bert. Uh -huh. Bert, what? what do I have in my hat? Your head. No, Bert. No. You're wrong, Bert. What's in my hat? Oh, uh, it's not on your head. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know. Let me see. No, no peeking, Bert. What is in my hat? Well, how am I supposed to know? You're not supposed to know. You're supposed to guess, Bert. Come on, guess. I don't know. I'm um, um, not. Uh, okay, a uh, 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 handkerchief. Mm -mm. Nope. Guess again. <sighs> An apple. Mm -mm. Guess uh, again. Uh, your 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 yo yo. Uh, your rubber ducky. No, nope, rubber ducky's not in there. Rubber ducky's back there. What was that? What do I have inside uh, of my hat? All right. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, some string. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Or a uh, picture, of Mr. Rogers. Picture, uh, of Mr. Rogers. Yeah, well, I don't know. What is it? What? What? I give up. You give up? Yes. You absolutely and ah! definitely give up, Bert? Yes, yes, yes. I don't have anything inside of my hat, Bert. If I had something inside my hat, I couldn't put it on my head. I wonder what Dr. Frankenstein is doing. <laughs> and now for the head... The nose, add an ear, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> eye, tongue, arm, <laughs> elbow, hand, finger, leg, and knee. <laughs> And ankle. And now, the power! <laughs> Here, I made you another ego. <laughs> Again, again, would you 
just start with an omelet or a ham. Oh, which come first, the chicken or the egg? The chicken or the egg? You know, I feel like meeting somebody around the neighborhood today. How about it? Oh, oh, who are the people in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood. In your neighborhood, say, who are the people in your neighborhood? The people that you meet each day. Let's take a look and see who's around. Oh, hi there. How you doing? Uh, hello, young sprout. <laughs> say, those are uh, some nice-looking flowers you have. Mm, thanks. You must be a florist. Mm, yes, call me Bud. Call you Bud. How's business, Bud? Oh, business is blooming. Blooming. It's growing all the time. Growing all the time. You're probably going to branch out, huh? Very good. Just sing. Say you want some flowers or by chance you'd like to buy some leafy plants. Oh, for any kind of greenery, your florist is the one to see. Cause the florist is a person in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. He's in, in your, your neighborhood. neighborhood. Yes, oh, a florist is a person in your neighborhood. A person that, that you meet each day. See you later, bud. All right. Oh, hi there. Oh, hello. Uh, who are you? I'm the electrician. Oh, that's a switch. Well, I try to keep current. Oh, you're kind of cute, you know that? Yeah, you're kind of cute, too. You turned me on. Oh, thanks. I'll give you a buzz sometime. You'll have to catch me at home. Oh, sing. What? Just sing, please. Okay. If your lighting doesn't light at all, an electrician is the one to call. I can fix a wire or change a fuse. For everything electrical you use Cause an electrician is a person in your neighborhood In your neighborhood In your neighborhood And a florist is a person in your neighborhood Well, they're the people that you meet When you're walking down the street They're the people that you meet Each day Wanna hear a bold joke? I'll do the bold jokes. You peddle your jokes elsewhere. Shocking. Mum's the word. Just keep plugging away, don't you? Music is coming out of Oscar's cave? Yeah, I wonder what this music is doing coming out of here. Hey, Oscar! Oscar. Uh, you are interrupting the great soon-to-be fingers. Wait a minute, Oscar. You were playing the piano? Yeah, so? You mean, you've really had to practice a long time to be able to play like that, Oscar. Why, are you I'm kidding? impressed. Nah, I just started. But my teacher says I show a lot of promise, and if I keep practicing, Soon I'll sound terrible. And judging from your response, I need a lot of practice. So, excuse me. Ah, I'm catching on. <laughs> that shows what a little practice will do. A circle! 
There are lots of circles there. It's a clock. A circle. Mmm, that's a delicious circle. It's a pizza. A circle. Mmm, I wonder what's that going to be. It's a wheel with the clown on it. Find the circle. Circle. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Sixteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty.
the only way to learn how to do something is to practice. <laughs> the only way to learn how to do something is to practice. Ah, there, I got it. Excuse me, I'd like to use the telephone. I'm waiting to use it myself. You want to use the telephone? You're an alligator, aren't you? That's right. Wait, you're going to telephone your wife and tell her you're going to be late getting home for supper, right? That's right. <laughs> Hello, honey. I'm still downtown, so I thought I'd telephone to say I'll grab something to eat here. <laughs> honey, telephone. <laughs> Gonna be a little late. <laughs> grab something to eat here. <laughs> That's right. That's a telephone booth. I know because that word up there is telephone. Number, please. I said, hey, operator, please give us a hand. You gotta help us out because we're the telephone band. We're calling all people that are sitting at home. Put some rocking and rolling on the telephone. Yeah, yeah. Let's 
Gus and all of us went for a ride to Hohokus. In the back of the bus was a hippopotamus and a snuffleupagus. All of us in the bus saw the snuffleupagus except Uncle Gus who saw only the hippopotamus. And it was thus that Uncle Gus and all of us went for a ride to Hohokus. Sir? Yes? Do you know what the name of that letter is? Yes. That's an S. Right. And do you know what the sound of the letter S is? Yes. The sound of S is S. Yes. And how did you know what the sound of the letter S is? Well, the letter S looks like me. I'm a snake. I always go s I see. Ha! 
Hi. Hello. Say, uh, who, who are you? We're the Rockheads. Yeah. The Rockheads. Oh, oh, you, you, you must be some kind of group, I guess, huh? Uh, a rock group? <laughs> Actually, we're two rock groups, right? Yeah. Can't you tell by looking at us? Yeah. We're the dark rock group. And they're the light rock group. But wait! Mm -hmm. Shift! Us big guys are one rock group. And you little folks are another. But no, no, no. Huh? Uh -huh. It's more like this. Shift. Shift. I wish I could shift. Maybe someday you will. Good. Yeah, now anyone can see that we're one rock group because we both have the letter N. And they are another rock group because they both have the letter S. Yes, but wait! There's another configuration. Right. Shift. Now, I'm there, and you're wait, wait, here. Look at the resemblance. No. I ask a simple question, and look what I get. Yes. No. Someone asked for an N here, and I don't know where it goes. Wait a minute. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, R, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. That's where it belongs. Let's hear it for capital N. Yay, yay, capital N. We like you so well, we'll say it again. Yay, yay, capital N. We take you now to Kermit the Frog at the scene of another fast-breaking news story. Hi, all. This is Kermit the Frog speaking to you from the scene of the accident, uh, where Mr. Humpty Dumpty has just fallen off of his wall. And to recapitulate that story, you may remember that Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, and Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And all of the king's horses, and all of the king's men, and, uh, yeah. uh, wait a minute, that's one of the king's cows back there. Pardon me, cow, I believe it's uh, just supposed to be all the king's horses here. Come on, get out, get out, get out. All the king's horses and all the king's men are indeed trying to put Mr. Humpty Dumpty back together again. And we're going to get a word in with one of the king's horses here right now. Pardon me, horse. Uh, Kermit the Frog here at Sesame Street News. Can you tell us uh, just what's happening with Mr. Dumpty over there? Well, uh, Dumpty's a tough egg. Yeah, it's Not what egg, you'd yeah. call hard-boiled or uh, anything. Hard-boiled. But he had a pretty bad fall. Bad fall, yeah, you say. Yeah, you can see part of him over there. Yes, that part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's another part of him. Uh, gotcha, another yeah. part. And right there, that's the final part right there. That's the last of him. Yes, I see. 
Yep, well, I gotta get back to work, Frog. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, well, folks, as you can see, uh, it's been a bad break for Mr. Humpty Dumpty, uh, but uh, the delicate job of putting him back together again has started. Matter of fact, if you look back there now, you can see that they've got the bottom and middle parts together. Yeah, and uh, right there, see that? There comes the top part right now. This is a very exciting and dramatic moment, friends. And matter of fact, there it is. They've got Mr. Humpty Dumpty back together again. Yay! Oh, look at that, friends. Look at that, friends. Humpty Dumpty is back together again. Yes, I am. Listen, uh, you, uh, Carmen the Frog here of Sesame Street News here. Hi, Frog. Yes, well, I, I just wanted to ask oh, you. Oh, Sesame Street. How do I look? You look fine, yes. Thank you. And I just wanted to ask you, how does it feel to uh, have it all together again, huh? Well, golly, I just feel like a brand new person. Well, you, you certainly look like one. And uh, speaking uh, for all the egg lovers of the country, I want you to know it's very nice to have you back. Uh, uh, horses. Uh, horses, Kingsman. Uh, oh, no. I'm awfully sorry about that. It, uh, it didn't mean to do anything. There was a frog that did it. Um, get him out of here. Get the frog out. Get the blue. Get the frog. I didn't mean to. Uh, Hi-ho, everybody. It's the ever-popular Letter on the Street interview show. Here's a likely-looking letter. Your name? Ann. How are you? Nice. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? No. Where are you from? North. Ever been on TV before? Never. You like it? Nifty. Would you like to say a few words? Not nibble, new, night, now. Thank you. Nag, very... neat, nine, near, numb. Thank you very Nose, much. Nose, nickel, yeah. number. We're a little late, Not folks, so bye-bye. Nerve, new, net. 26 letters in the alphabet, and I gotta get in. I see. What's that on your on your bib there? It's um, a sign. Yeah. What's it say? Love. Love. Oh. Well, what kind of things do you love, Kim? You. Me? Oh. But what other things? Do you have any any uh? Oh. I mean, like flowers. Do you love flowers? Yeah. What well, what other kinds of things do you love? Um. You. Me. Well, that's My mother. nice. Your mother? And my father. And your father? And my sister. And your sister. Oh, that's nice, yeah. And and I love my mother and my father and my sister and one more. Your grandma. You. Oh, I forgot. Oh, of course I love my grandma. But I love you too. I love you too. 
S. S. So, uh, what do you rockheads do? Play the drums? Yeah, we play in a rock band, of course. Of course. Yeah, I'm the best rock drummer in the world. <laughs> I'm the best, remember? Then I'm second best. No, I think I'm second best. You certainly uh, do get confused, don't you? I know. You decide. Do just what I do. I always do, don't I? Now that's what I call hard rock. How many legs does a horse have? One. No. How many? Two. Nope. How many? Three. No. How many? Four. Yes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Hi, I'm just sitting here with my three friends here. It's four. What? It's four. It's four children. No, it's, o it's only, only, only three. One, two, three. Now. Uh -uh, I it's four. I... Now, it's only three. One, two, three. There's now. Four. four. Don't tell me. <coughs> now, look. I got one. Two, three. Now, that's all. Three. Four. There's four. One, two, three. Now. Four. Four. <laughs> three. Four. Three. Four. Now, ladies and gentlemen in the audience, here it is. One, two, three. Four. Um, <laughs> oh! So there. Four. One, two, three, four. And what else? <laughs> <laughs> is anybody else here? No. Huh? No. Who's no. here? You. No. You. Oh, there's somebody around. No. Here. Huh? It's you. Me? Yeah. What about me? There's five. Five what? <laughs> five people. People? Yeah. Anybody else? No. No. Just us? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right then. <laughs> I'm sitting here with my three friends. Oh, that's true. You're over here, aren't you? So, everything you see doesn't necessarily have to be. Okay. Hi, Dad. You're angry, aren't you? I can tell, but I love you anyway, even when you're angry. Hi there, Bert. Oh, hi, Ernie. Hey, Bert, you want to play a game? Mm, no, I'm, I'm reading right now, Ernie. Hmm. Well, you, you don't want to read all afternoon, do you, Bert? Yeah. But uh, 
I know reading is good for you. Reading is great, and reading is a lot of fun and all that sort of thing. But, Bert, you need your exercise, too, you know? Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll exercise later. I want to read right now, though. Okay? Okay, Bert. But, uh, incidentally, Bert, you're it. Bert's it. Bert's it. What? You're it, Bert. What do you mean I'm it? We well, see, that's the game. I just tagged you, and you're it until you tag somebody else. No, no, I'm not playing a game. I'm reading, Ernie, and I'm not it. Okay. But Bert is it. <laughs> Ernie, I, I am, I am not, I'm not it. Yes, you I... are, Bert. You're it, Bert. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, Bert. Bert's it. Bert is it. Bert is it. <laughs> Bert's it. You're it, Bert. Ah, I got you. Oh, I got you. Bert I'm going to oh, get you. Bert, oh, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. You can't. Bert is it. You. You're it, Bert. Shot. I'm not it. No, you're I'm, not. Okay, all right. You're I'm not going to get me, Bert. I'm going to get you, Ernie. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you over here now. I'm going to get you. There. Oh, Oh, yeah. you got me, Bert. Yeah. Yes, Very I got good, you, you got yes. me. You are it. I That's am not. True. You're it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep, I am no, it, I, Bert. I am going back to my reading now. Oh, but Bert, wasn't that fun? <sighs> yeah. Wasn't yeah. that great to get yeah. all that exercise? Terrific, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't you glad you played that game? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good. Because you're it again, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> S. Sing. S. Listen, music. Oh, let's play the drum. Yeah. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters N and S, and by the number four. Lower. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. <laughs>